Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this Luminar Neo Upscale AI review. So let's begin this Upscale AI review with an upscale. So to upscale your image, very simple. Begin on the catalog page, grab your image and you drag it over to the upscale box. At which point you'll be presented with three options. You can either do a two times upscale, a four times upscale or a six times upscale. We're going to keep things small and we're going to go for a two times upscale. Now, no fancy editing in this video. You're waiting exactly as long as I'm waiting. So this will give you a good impression of how fast upscale works. For reference, I'm using a Ryzen 2700 series CPU, a GTX 1070 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, and numerous solid state disks. I'm also using a Windows PC as opposed to the Mac version. And here we go. So let's see how our image is looking. So from here looks just about the same. Let's zoom in 100%, one-to-one -one pixel ratio. And it looks very good. Overall, it looks exactly like the original, but bigger. In other words, we've not paid any penalty whatsoever for the 200% upscale. So far, so good. Let's try something else. So this is a picture of a lion. And it is a six megapixel picture of a lion. And we're going to upscale this to 600%. So once again, back to the catalog view. And we're going to drag this wee line to our upscale window and select 600% and upscale. Now there is a limitation with upscale is that it can only, only produce images that are, have a long edge of 32,000 pixels at most. So for example, if I was to load a 25 megapixel image into upscale AI, I would be unable to increase it by 600% because the long edge of the photo would exceed that 32,000 pixels. So if you tend to up, uh, upscale very large digital photos, there might be better options out there and we'll get to that in a minute. So here is our lion upscaled to 600%. Let's have a look at this fella. So we're going into a 100% view, one-to-one -one crop. And overall, I can tell it's been upscaled, but printed big and viewed from a sensible distance. I think it would look great. So we're going to do one last trial. So here's a picture of London Bridge and it was taken with an ancient 3 megapixel photo uh, camera Sony point and shoot. Now the reason I want to show you this is because we've all got lots of photos that we cherish. I don't cherish this one but I've got others that we cherish but we're taken with very old technology and we would quite like them to bring them up to modern standards. So let's see what we can do with this ancient photo. Just for fun let's view in at 100% and that is 100%. That is 115% we had it on. How far have we come? So let's upscale. And because this is an older picture, I'm going to not push my luck. I'm going to go for a 400% upscale. One of the interesting things is uh, if you're not the waiting sort, you can actually go and do other things while it upscales. You can apply presets or edit a different picture, for example. So here we are, a 400% upscale of an ancient 3 megapixel image. And I have to say that actually looks pretty good. I would say that there's a bit of noise there to deal with, and I would probably do a bit of sharpening, but you can actually do all that with Luminar Neo using no noise AI and super sharp AI. But that is for another demo guys. So, how does Luminar Neo Upscale AI compare? And obviously the most immediate comparison is Gigapixel AI. Now Gigapixel AI is superior. It's faster, it has more adjustments, and it 
at the end of the day, it produces a better upscaled image. So if all you care about is getting the best possible upscaled image, I recommend you try Topaz Gigapixel AI. However, unlike any other upscaler, upscale AI is built straight in to Luminar Neo. Thus, you are able to contain your entire photo editing workflow to a single system, as opposed from processing in Luminar Neo and then bouncing out and using Gigapixel AI. And that's worth something. That convenience does pay off over the long run and you'll appreciate it every single time you process an image. So whether or not you would want to trade a little bit of outright performance for convenience is a personal choice I leave to you. Um, but this is extremely convenient. I can upscale my picture of a lion. I can then throw it into no noise AI, run a preset, put it through super sharp AI, and never ever leave Luminar Neo. Extremely convenient. But if you want the best possible upscaling. There's nothing I've used that's better than Gigapixel AI. So overall, conclusion, Luminar Neo Upscale AI is a great product. It produces good enough upscaling. You'll be happy with the results. It's extremely um, convenient to use, very straightforward. However, it does lack the sort of adjustments and creative freedom as alternatives. You've got that 32,000 pixel limit on upscaling. So you're not going to be able to create humongous images. You'll only be able to create giant images. So some of you, that might be a problem, a problem which Gigapixel AI does not have. But yeah, you've seen for yourself and I recommend you give upscale AI a go. Anyway, I hope that was useful. My name is Richard from Silent Pig and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.